Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create a child zone of Azure DNS zone. In this video we will see how to create child DNS zone via the new DNS zone. We will also create child DNS zone via parent zone and uh, we will verify NS delegation of the new child DNS zone. And for the purpose of this video we will use assert.xyz as the parent zone and uh, will use subdomain.assert.xyz as the child domain name. Okay, so let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal and this is my uh, zone assert.xyz. Now you go to the home and you click on create a resource and you type in DNS zone you click on create you will select a subscription you will select the resource group and you see it says instance details this zone is a child of an existing zone already hosted in the DNS you check this box now you select the parent zone here. You have assert.xyz, which is all in the, now the name of the child domain. And your child domain would be your uh, domain name. You can enter. You can do child, or you can do subdomain dot assert dot xyz or you can do child dot assert dot xyz okay you click on tags click on the view create and you click on create initializing the deployment submitting the deployment and it will start deploying this resource Deployment is in progress. You can see the details here. It will take few seconds for this to be completed. Deployment is complete. Click on go to resource. And this is your child own. And now if you want to, you see here, you would see that it's under this resource group, name server, records, you click on properties, subscription name, subscription ID, and uh, you click on You can create a child zone from here as well. And if you want to create child DNS zone via parent DNS zone overview page, let's say I go to here and I go to my. Let's say you don't want to create a child DNS zone doing new DNS zone, then clicking on OK, checking that box that this is a child domain of an existing parent domain. You can click here as well, child zone you will get the same screen right and you can here and subdomain to xyz tags review create click on create it will do the same thing all right and when you click on and if you want to verify the child dns zone let's say now you have created to verify that the delegation happened correctly you will have want to check the name server records for your child zone is in parent zone as described below now if you would go to your child zone let's say this is doing then we go to our previous child dns zone and you can retrieve the name servers from the dns zone overview page so these are the name servers name server one name server two name server three name server four for your child dns zone now in this now in this step we go to the parent dns zone and check that its ns record set entry for the child dns zone name server has been created now if you would go to your parent dns zone which is this xyz and if you would see this subdomain and these are the name server records entries which have been created so when you click on here you see here 
the domain is the subdomain and these are the name server records. All right, that is how this is the delegation that uh, it has done to delegate the name server resources for the child DNS zone as well in the Azure DNS. Right, so I hope this was informative for all of you guys. And uh, please note that if you are done with your lab, please do not forget to delete all of your resources and uh, try and make all of your resources for the lab in a single resource group that you can delete when your lab is done like I'll do now. So I'll go here, I'll click on my resource groups and I will go to my resource group and I'll click on delete resource group. So these are my web app and everything else. I'll copy the name, paste it and click on delete. Right, so I'll, I don't have to worry about uh, the extra charges though I have forgotten uh, these uh, deletions I forgot to delete these all my lab resource group and I've been charged very heavily so I would give you guys an advice to delete your lab resource group as soon as you're done with your labs and uh, it will save you money right I have also learned this by paying huge bills for my lab to azure but i have to i had to pay because i used azure subscription and I, it was my mistake that i forgot to delete all the resources all right so take care and until next video have a good day